what is up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Michelle and it is a pleasure to have you here so to piggyback off of my last video you guys know that I went on a haul I went to Ulta TJ Maxx multiple places because I was just running errands that day and of course Michelle had to buy things that she didn't necessarily need. However, one of the things that I got that I'm super excited to review for you guys is Iggy's eye brush collection. Well, actually just make a brush collection collaboration with BH Cosmetics, all right? So I didn't even know that Iggy had collaborated with any makeup brands, first of all, but let alone BH Cosmetics, when I found these brushes, first of all, they're super affordable. But when I found these brushes, I was like, okay, I have to do a review. I have to try them because you guys, they're beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm so happy I did this today. So if you're interested in, well, seeing whether or not I like the brushes, which by the looks of it, I obviously did. And you want to see how I created this makeup look, please keep watching. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so let's begin. I'm actually gonna start off with my foundation. I'm not gonna do anything too heavy. I'm actually trying to enjoy some sun. So since I'm going to the pool after, I don't necessarily want anything too full coverage or too heavy, I should say. So today I'm gonna use the Dream Urban Cover, which has SPF 50, which is great. And then this isn't necessarily my color, so I like to add a little bit of warmth with my L'Oreal Pro Matte foundation i was gonna say concealer my foundation and this is in the color 106 which is sun beige so it really gives me um the warmth that i need and it darkens up my color just a tiny bit these are definitely not my go-to foundations however once again i don't really care because i'm gonna be outdoors i'm gonna sweat and i'm not going anywhere so let me mix them for you I usually just start off with the lightweight, um, I keep saying concealer. To me, this foundation is honestly lightweight, so I start with that first. And then just add a dab of, oh, that was a little bit more than a dab, but a little dab of the darker shade. So since I'm not really using any other brushes, Besides my Aggie collaboration with BH Cosmetics, I'm going to be using a beauty blender for my face. Because once again, I only want to focus on the brushes today. So, just kind of dab it everywhere, mostly on the cheek because that is the largest part of your face. And I start working my way down. Always dabbing, never dragging, unless you kind of want to give yourself some definition makeup and dragging just never go i always like to dab so let me dab away <laughs> oh and by the way Always make sure that your beauty blender is moist, it's damp, because if not, then it's gonna soak up all the product and then you're gonna be wasting product for no reason. And if you're someone who uses pricey products and high-end products, you're not gonna wanna waste it. So I always like to add little by little, because I never feel like I wanna look cakey or feel like just too heavy. drag your foundation onto your neck because if you are not using the proper color which honestly today i'm not necessarily using the proper color so if i were to put a lot of foundation and glob everything on you guys you will see the difference between my neck and my face and that's not uses so make sure before i started the video i did prep my eyelid so using the same beauty blender just kind of go over you don't need any extra product. Just go over your eye, blend that all out. 
once again the neck area and boom now we are done just a little bit more <laughs> We are done. So now we can actually start using the brushes that I wanted to review for you guys. If you guys saw my last video, you guys know that I actually went on a haul. I bought more things than I needed to. But however, I got these Iggy brushes that I am obsessed with because I love them. Because I love the colors. I love everything about them and like I said it is a collaboration with BH Cosmetics and I love BH Cosmetics brushes. They are the shit. So I'm just going to go ahead and set with my beauty blender. Once again I am just patting it on and then now we can actually start using our brushes. Um, there's actually a brush that I want to use to remove the setting powder just because it's 100% clean and now I get to see how it feels. So I'm actually going to be going in with the contour brush. Um, obviously it's for contour but it is brand new and spanking clean. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go ahead and lightly dust off any excess setting powder that you might have. Uh, let me tell you, this is so freaking soft. I love it. Honestly, so far I am loving this brush. It's obviously a contour brush, but it is super good to remove any excess product, aka setting powder or things like that. Um, I, I love it. So since I already have my contour brush in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my contour palette, which is also from BH Cosmetics. It is called Tulum Six Color Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. And guys, look at this packaging. Like, if you know me, you know I'm all about inspirational quotes. It says, follow that dream. And baby girl, I am following my dream. And you should too, because your dreams are very important. Just make sure they don't stay dreams and they become plans. So using my contour palette, using my contour palette and contour brush, I'm gonna pick up my favorite contour color, which is this one right here in the middle. I'm gonna dab it like two or three times. Oh, it actually has names. I didn't even know that. The color that I just picked up was El Castillo. So using my mirror, I'm going to lightly apply my contour. Okay, so I love the way that it feels. Um, I definitely do need to pick up some more product. Dust off any excess, get my mirror, and go right back in. All right, so one thing I can definitely say about this brush is that it softened everything up, okay? It doesn't give you any heart. It's not that dense. amazing honestly i love the thickness of it because it makes it really easy to grip the brush and like i said the bristles are super soft so that is it for my contouring let me actually add a little bit more on my forehead i don't know why today out of all days i would get this unicorn on my forehead um if you want to darken up and add some contrast on your nose you can as well so now um since we have everything down packed i'm actually going to grab uh, one of their blending brushes and once again i'm going down to the pool so it is not that serious i'm gonna grab that same contour color you can even choose a lighter shade it's completely up to you but i'm gonna use that same el castillo color I'm going to grab my blending brush 
right? And dust off any excess and go in. Okay, hold on. So as you guys can see, I need to make sure that I remove any fine lines from my eyes because that's not cute. I normally don't like to apply setting powder to my eyes because then that just softens the, the brightness. And if you're going to use a bright color, you need that lightness in order for the color to pop. You guys. I love these brushes. They blend the colors so nicely. Um I was gonna say I do wish that there was a bigger blending brush however I do see this one right here but it's not round it gives me more like a shader brush so I'm not too sure maybe maybe I'll use that for a lighter shader brown I don't know we'll see hold on I love it. <laughs> so let me do the other eye. Look at that sparkle. Look at that shine. Let me tell you, this brush picked up so much product and I love it because when it's when it comes to working on the lid area, you need to make sure that you have enough product for it to be an even coat. So far, so good, you guys. What do you guys think? Hmm? So far, so good. So, next is I'm going to use some blush. I'm actually going to be using my BH Cosmetics Bellini Blush Palette, which I love as well. So I'm going to pick up some of the Peach Please and then just apply it right above my cheekbone. I am obsessed. Like I said, I can definitely say that the brushes do soften everything up. So if you're someone who likes a nice deep contour, you might have to darken up the colors that you're using. Um, like for example, instead of using the El Castillo for my contour, I would most likely maybe use like Paradise or Gran Cenote. So one of these two, honestly, because like I said, it's very natural. It softens the color up. Um, let me actually try Paradise and see. Hopefully I don't darken it too much. Let's see, hold on, because I can't see into the camera. You see, so it's a little bit better, I feel. Um, it's more my style. You can always go in with the beauty blender and then just blend everything together and make everything just look very seamless. Um, honestly, I am loving this. I necessarily wouldn't even do much more, but we do have the highlighter brush that we have to use. And then I'm actually gonna go in back into my contour and highlighting um, palette 
I'm gonna use that same golden color that I used on my lid on my upper cheek, all right? To add some highlights, some, some shininess back into our skin. Look at the highlight. Look at the highlight. <laughs> You guys, I'm obsessed with these brushes. Like, no joke, for real. And they were super cheap. I told you guys, if you guys watched my last video, you guys would see that they weren't that affordable. So if you haven't seen that all, make sure you watch it. Um, and then the last two brushes that I didn't necessarily use were, this is like a super small blending brush. I don't think it's the precise brush honestly I'm not too sure I would have to double check but we have these two well actually these three that are left and I'm not really using any darker tones so I'm not gonna use this brush today I can possibly use this brush to show you guys how I would apply maybe my actually you know what I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna use this brush all right so the last brush one of the last three brushes that we have is this one which i normally honestly would like to use it for like eyeliner or even um my eyebrows but i'm not doing all of that today so i want to show you guys what you guys can use it for if you're like me who's not you know doing anything too crazy with their makeup look i'm gonna grab the deepest brown shade that i have in my contour palette and you know what i'm gonna do I'm going to darken up my under eye. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I absolutely love this brush. Um, I feel like it was a little small for my under eye. It's not meant for the under eye. I just used it today because why not? Um, I'm not gonna do any any gel liner or anything like that today. So, but I would really recommend this for gel. Like I said, gel liner or even a pomade for your eyebrows. I think it would look amazing. And I'm going to make sure that I try it for... I'm going to go back to the Anastasia Dip Brow. I'm going to use this brush and see how I like it. And then I'll let you guys know. Because I honestly think that I'm going to love this brush to use um, to use it with my, my pomade. So we're down to the last two brushes that I want to give you guys a review on. This one, I can actually just darken up my eyes a little bit. I don't want to darken them up too much, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to grab that same deep color, which is the Grand Cenote. And then I'm going to go in and just darken up my outer crease. Literally just a tiny bit. Go back to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. So honestly, I would actually use this brush for my concealer or even to kind of define my nose um, or for underneath. But I'm not gonna be using this one today because there's nothing that I can use it for. Um, so we're practically done. I just wanna go ahead and add a little bit of lip gloss, make sure my eyebrows stay in place. And then we shall be done. I'm just gonna grab my favorite lip gloss. This is literally my favorite lip gloss. It's the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow.
Oh wait, we're not done. <laughs> I'm like, where are my lashes? Hello, we need our mascara and then we'll be done. If you guys didn't know, this is my favorite mascara ever because it doesn't run. It doesn't make your eyes feel dry. It doesn't clump up. I hate doing my bottom lashes because ugh, I make some ugly ass faces. <laughs> I actually saw a TikTok today where um, they grab the mascara wand. You kind of just dab on mascara onto your lower lash line and then you grab some tweezers and you pull them all together and then it gives you like this sweetheart effect to your lashes at the bottom. I want to try it. I feel like I'll poke my eye out, but we'll see. Um, so this is it, you guys. I am so freaking happy with the look. I'm, But most importantly, I'm just super happy with these brushes because like I said, they were they were just super soft on the skin they were great they softened up the colors they didn't give you any harsh lines and it was affordable you guys can visit their website online obviously um or hop into your nearest like tj maxx or burlington and check out their their makeup section you guys will be surprised at how many things you guys find <laughs> video for you guys because let me tell you these brushes are amazing they're so soft they're not dense so they're not gonna create any harsh lines for you if you're someone who's starting off or you just don't necessarily work with cream contours like that these brushes are gonna be for you because like I said I wouldn't necessarily use any cream or any liquid products with these brushes just so I can keep them soft and I like them. I like them the way they are right now. I have other brushes for liquid products. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys were able to learn something. I hope that you guys were able to get something from this video. And like I always say, until next time, peace.